Give me about five minutes and I'll describe a new way to build your proposals for better results. Systems have been built for many years using the standard system development lifecycle model. Each step is performed serially and completely finishes before the next step begins. While the dominant model, it has many potential weaknesses. With complex systems, each step becomes more detailed and can take much longer to complete. As all details are defined and interrelationships established within each phase, we lose flexibility as it becomes more difficult to make and track changes consistently. And the project duration and required activities and skill sets put unique stresses on a team and risks consistent performance. Yet this is exactly how we develop our proposals, with the same potential issues and uncertain results. Here's another way to look at proposals. Imagine a series of lenses, pink, red, and gold, with each lens focusing the content, eventually producing a tightly integrated proposal. But often, the changes go in the wrong direction and are not discovered until the next formal review. The result is additional cost and stresses and strains on an already overburdened team with these effects worsening the later it gets. How can we even predict what we'll end up with? Although we understand many of the causes for these results, what does our proposal process need to reduce these impacts and increase proposal quality? We need a clear and coherent vision for our proposed solution applied consistently across all content with a process flexible enough for rapid mid course corrections. We need to provide accurate progress and status to team members and executive leadership and a method to reliably determine estimated proposal costs. How can we achieve these objectives? There is another way to develop our proposals using an innovation from systems development methodology called Agile. The main attributes of Agile include the core team, cross-functional with specific roles and responsibilities, the work unit called an iteration, sprint, or scrum, which implements an entire goal from beginning to end, and the in individual iteration goals are determined by the team, beginning with the most important. How would this be applied to proposal development? Instead of long duration phases, we split up the writing into many iterations, with each iteration proceeding from storyboard through writing and review before beginning the next. Progress is easily determined by completed iterations and other process metrics. Executive management can participate more frequently and gain useful information to support decision making. An agile proposal development process can potentially provide all of the features we need for high quality, cost effective proposals. How can we build better proposals faster and cheaper? Use Agile to develop consistent content with a transparent process. Assemble a virtual core team with a strong procedural focus and basic IT tools to provide presence in a central knowledge base with part-time support from capable subject matter experts. Utilize prior proposals to create 80% of the content for common plans such as compensation, staffing, quality, IT security, property, or safety. I've applied each of these elements to create an example proposal development plan for a large technical services contract. Upon the release of the draft RFP, focus the initial iterations on the material that will have the most impact on the rest of the proposal, like the executive summary, organization and program leadership, control processes, and a high-level description of how we will implement the statement of work requirements. Hold the first red team for the first approximately 40 pages of material before moving on to the rest. Large proposals will probably require multiple parallel efforts. Each thread should be led by one or more core team members. Hold periodic red teams to review new material only. Keep the size of the content to a minimum and build off of prior reviews. The gold team will review the integrated proposal. What will each iteration look like? In the initial concept, we will proceed through all phases of the life cycle in about two weeks. An iteration is done when the content is reviewed and archived. Once completed, that section of the proposal is ready for a red team review. So how would we staff this proposal? The core team, in blue, will begin the full efforts after the draft RFP is released and stay engaged throughout the entire proposal. The core team will guide the subject matter experts shown in pink 
to focus on their specific area. The subject matter experts will be brought in for an iteration or two and then released. Although each proposal may require some customization, this approach, combined with a capable core team, can be more cost-effective, instill more clarity and consistency, and provide more insight to executive leadership for the entire proposal development process. Please contact me with any feedback, suggestions, or questions.